Hello friends, I think you watched video 1, that is part 1 video. Uh, in that we, you learned about uh, carrying numbers and non-carrying numbers. I think it's clear about uh, carrying numbers and non-carrying numbers. Now I will take in this video one example of uh, two digit number plus one digit number. And also I will explain the difference between the general mathematics and Vedic mathematics. How to add two numbers. Now I have two examples here. Example 1, 12 plus 6. Second example, 27 plus 8. So I have taken two different uh, examples. See that what is the difference between these two examples. First one is 2 plus 6, 8. That is non-carry number. Now here, 27 plus 8, that is unit digit. 7 plus 8, 15. That is carry number, right? So I will explain the difference between these two. Now, first I will explain how you will do addition in a general mathematics. In general mathematics, we will add 2 plus 6, 8 we will write and 1. So, 12 plus 6 is 18. This is general mathematics. Next, in general mathematics, we will add 27 plus 8, 7 plus 8. 7 plus 8 is 15. So, take 1 here. Some we will say that uh, we will take 1 in the pocket or some based on your teacher explanation. We will take 1 here. 7 plus 8 is 15 and 2 plus 1 is 3. We will say that the sum of 27 uh, plus 8 is equal to 35. This is general mathematics. Now I will explain same examples with uh, by using Vedic mathematics. See the explanation. First see the main difference between general mathematics and Vedic mathematics. In general mathematics addition and subtraction we will do it from right to left. Okay. But in Vedic Mathematics, we will do the addition or subtraction from left to right. Now, see how to add 12 and 6 by using Vedic Math. First, I am taking 1. 1 I will take as it is. This 1 is based on these two digits. See now why I am taking directly 1. 6 plus 2. Already you learned how to add two digits, two different digits and carry numbers and non-carry numbers, right? So, from that, we know that 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. That is non-carry number. So when you have, when you are getting after adding these two digits, non-carry number, you can take directly this number as it is. So I have taken uh, 1 as it is, 2 plus 6 is 18. Okay. So now coming to this example, now if you add this number same like this, you will get wrong answer. So if you write directly, if you take 2 here and if you add these two, 7 plus 8, the unit digit is 5. If you write here, 2, 5, 25, it's wrong. Because here we have to check that the sum of these two digits is carry number or non-carry number. That means more than 10 or less than 10. If you we'll add 7 plus 8, you are getting 15, right? So if the number sum of the two digits is carry number, we need to take 2 plus 1, that is 3. Understood? For these two, we need to add 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Now I am taking directly number 3 instead of 2. Because 7 plus 8 is more than 10. That is 15. In unit digit we have 5. And 1 is the carry number. So 2 plus 1 is 3. And the sum of the digits 7 and 8 units place is 5. So you are getting 35. So can you practice two more questions on this? So let us see the two more different examples on carry number. Now I am explaining two more examples, that is first to the third one, 59 plus 7, fourth example, 38 plus 8. So these two examples are based on carry numbers. See that what is the use of carry numbers. Now 9 plus 7, we know that 16, 6 in the units place and 1 is the carry number, right? So here directly instead of 5, I will take 6, 5 plus 1 is 6, 9 plus 7 is 6. So, the sum of 59 and 7 is 66. Now, coming to the next example, even here, 8 plus 8 is 16. Here, carry number. So, for 3, we need to add 1. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. 8 plus 8 is 16. So, unit digit is 6. So, I think, you know, uh, you will feel that it is easy. Like, uh, we can do even this in a general mathematics. But, when you are coming to the 3 digit numbers, 4 digit numbers, Vedic math will be the easiest way than the general mathematics. Okay. So now only two digits and one digit we have. 
so you can't find more difference so in the next classes you will find the difference between the vedic mathematics and general mathematics thank you for watching this and wait for the next video that is part 3 thanks for watching subscribe